Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your dab of the day. Today is Thursday. Hello, everybody. Today's topic, unfortunately, is going to be built out of real life. What I want to discuss today is where there's hope. You know, we talk about a lot of things here, pain and horrible things, but we got to talk about hope. We got to talk about surviving the chronic pain. That's correct, because it doesn't matter if we identify, it doesn't matter if we understand, it doesn't matter if we can process, it doesn't matter if we watch a video, unless we can survive the chronic pain. Okay, well, back pain is probably my biggest problem. Matter of fact, I just left a colorectal surgeon examining me and telling me, it's my back. Can you imagine? Okay. So things refer, things cause other problems. But how do we survive these things? Because, you know, I talk a lot about them, but I also talk about hope. And that's what today is about. Let's talk about hope and how you survive. First of all, you categorize back pain in two ways. Ah, acute and chronic. The acute pain usually involves an illness or an injury. Chronic back pain is usually diagnosed when the pain lasts more than three months. That's the medical standard. And it can be caused by a lot of factors. Starting with something simple, like incorrect posture, a muscle strain, a long-ago accident, sports injury, or even a nerve injury. Back pain, unfortunately, can be indicative of underlying problems. That's why I've been on the search for the root cause but it doesn't help us. Back pain is one of the most common chronic pain conditions. So being that the spine is complex, has a lot of interconnecting networks of nerves, joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments, every one of those can produce pain. So where do you look? Where do you find it? How do you rule out what's not happening to find out what is, even for the doctors? And by the way, you look fine, okay? The large nerves that are in the spine that start there are the ones that go to legs, arms, and into the organs even. And that's how pain radiates. So you might think you have pain literally in the ass. It's not. It's your lower back. You might even think you have a pain in the front. Might not be. It's your lower back. So... These issues are significant and real issues. So, those who suffer from this, from a chronic disease, meaning it can't be cured, get really dark. I get really dark and depressed all the time. We often limit our activities. And those limits can cause the depression, the anxiety, the stress, and even fatigue. The emotions that we face can actually exacerbate the pain. The fact that we get in pain and then get, oh my God, and horrible about it means that we're going to make more pain happen and then we interpret it incorrectly. Fact. But we don't see it as it's happening. So we keep doing it because we're on the hamster wheel of pain. Okay? We all know that. No cure for this type of stuff. You're on the hamster wheel. It's all firing. Of course you're going to be stressed out. Well, pain management's goal when treating this type of pain is to get maximum reduction in pain as rapidly as possible. That's what they look for. When you wake up from a procedure at my surgical center, first thing they say when you're conscious is, what's your pain number? First thing they say. But it's individual. And no treatments work for everybody. All the different things I talk about are because there's so many people out there. I could talk about one thing if it was just me, but it's for you, so I talk about a lot of things. Because pain and pain management is individual. It's got to be individual to deal with the condition you've got. So it's got to be tailored 
for you. I went to a doctor today to rule out something so I could focus more on knowing what I have and dealing with it. Instead of all these things happening, it's gotten crazy. What about the hope that I talk about? How can you see hope in all of this? How can you see hope when you learn that chronic pain is lifelong, that there's no cure for you? How do you bring the word hope into that discussion? Well, let's try this. I hope that I'll get used to it. I hope that I'll finally be able to cast aside who I was, the capabilities that I had, and start learning about the capabilities that I have. Forget about the basketball gun, the swimming guy I was. Forget about it. And start thinking about an afternoon in bed. Start thinking about using the darn adjustable bed during the day to watch TV. Start thinking about making myself more comfortable instead of standing up real proud and strong every single day and being in pain. Part of the pain is due to the strutting, is due to the fact that uh, we need to look good. We need to sound good when we're not good. Well, you know what? The hope is that that all stops. That's right. Because I'm here to tell you, loved ones and significant others accept us for who we are. They signed on for that. And you bore them as their, if you were their parents for that. And if they're your parents, they bore you for that. Do not feel that by expressing the pain as being here and dealing with it, you're going to alienate your family. You're not. If they're gone, they're already gone. The pain needs to be dealt with. The hope is that you're going to deal with it. See, a lot of times what happens with chronic pain, me, we, we all do it. We live in denial for a long time. Think about the death of a loved one. Think about the loss of someone you've really held dear, and a family member particularly, and how long, possibly, if it's a spouse even worse, or God forbid a child, you don't even think they're gone. You don't even face the reality they're gone. You might not even go into their rooms, ever touch their rooms again, in case they come back. Well... In this situation with our bodies, in some situations, they're not coming back. And once you face the reality and cast off all of your preconceived notions about what you thought should be and look at what you are facing, then you're on the road to recovery. This is The Real Senior Stoner. And we're going to do our dab of the day, cherry pie diamonds right now, a nice indica strain. I need to take the edge off and lay low today because I'm in a great deal of pain. And you know what? I know I am. I'm speaking about it. I'm not hiding from it. And I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to be in and out of the darn hot tub as much as I can today because it helps. Take your medicine, use your medication, and do everything you can. That is the hope. The hope is not that you're going to end pain that you have. The hope is that you're going to learn to live with it. Cheers. It's an old saying, if you want it bad enough, you can get it. Sometimes <coughs> it, the body, with the human body, doesn't work like that. So the saying should go for people like us. Sometimes you just got to accept the hand you're dealt. That's the hope. Accept it. Flourish within your new self. That is the hope. This is the real senior stoner wishing everybody out there a pain-free day. Cheers. <laughs>